following program on Ave Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verena Media Network. Good evening and welcome to another episode on Gen XYZ. Now, as you all know, this is a program where we talk about contemporary topics or issues focused on the youth. Now, today's topic, we are going to talk about tourism. Now, as you all know, Sri Lanka's economy has been affected by various factors, you know, and especially because of the fact that we have been deplete, we have a depletion of foreign investments in the country. So now one of the main segments that affected this was the falling of the tourism in our country. Tourism is one of the main factors that can bring, bring dollars into the country. Now, to talk about this topic, we have Mr. Shiranda Piris, who is the chairman of the Sri Lanka Institute of Tourism and Hotel Management. And also we have a guest from India, who is Chef Nalan. He's also a businessman and has he's specializing in Kerala foods as well. I'm so honored to have both of you on the show today. And as you all know, tourism is a very vital sector that needs to be spoken about here in Sri Lanka as well. And I believe now tourism can be divided into so many sectors. There's travel, there's entertainment and so on and so forth. Yeah. But I believe tourism consists of good food. <laughs> I believe that, you know, people travel to taste the different foods and the ingredients that you have and food represents culture. So now this whole program is going to be based on that. First of all, uh, Chef Nalan, welcome to Sri Lanka and hope you are enjoying the stay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Much obliged for the hospitality. <laughs> thank you. And also now to continue with our discussion, I would like to pose the question to uh, Mr. Shirantha. What do you think about the current status of Sri Lanka in the tourism industry? Where do you think we are going wrong? Well, the current state is at least there is uh, an improvement in the or increase in the arrivals. Uh, as of now, we have exceeded 650,000 and we were targeting 800,000 as many of you know. but due to certain incidences we are targeting 700,000 which we are quite positive that we will uh, reach because we have uh, exceeded the 650 mark. So uh, and your other question was where have we gone wrong right well uh, but, but I would say is this is the, this is the winter season this is where we uh, are expecting a lot of tourists to come right not only uh, tourists but uh, Sri Lankans also living abroad who are planning to come after a couple of years. So let this season be a season with tourists and our Sri Lankans coming and we should not uh, get in the way of uh, their arrival because this is a time we need uh, the foreign currency uh, as the forex needs to come in. So if we are going wrong it is obstructing or not allowing the tourists to come. So I don't think any one of us as Sri Lankans thinking putting the country first should welcome the tourists, welcome uh, the season and uh, make sure that we even exceed the 700,000 mark this year. All right. Now, again, when considering tourism and the different types of sectors, where do you think Sri Lanka has been affected the most? The, I would say the hotels. Mm -hmm. I cannot pinpoint and say the hotels only, but even the, the, the stakeholders in the industry, it can be the, the chauffeurs. You know, uh, the guides, everyone has been affected. Uh, I mean, we've heard this a million times about uh, the corona and etc. But unfortunately, what we went through, the crisis, everyone has been affected. So I would like to put uh, uh, the hotels, the, the, tour, the, the guides, the drivers, everyone in one and say that is the area that uh, has been affected. All right. And we are gradually, slowly, little by little, we are coming out, but it's not good enough. Okay. Uh, Chef Nalan, uh, you can also add into these points as well. Now, I believe 
culinary also plays a major role in the tourism sector because as I mentioned earlier so people travel yeah. to try the different types of food the different ingredients and what people can do with ingredients you know people do magic with food very much yes so now compared you being a chef and you've traveled around the world as well so compared to international levels how do you think Sri Lanka is faring in the culinary side see once I travel around the globe uh, I have observed one beautiful thing about other countries. China is a very big country and uh, even though we don't serve Chinese food on the authentic part, which I was in China for five years, but we all love Chinese food. It's Chinese food, Chinese food, Chinese food. I was in Thailand, it's a very small country like Sri Lanka. It's full of tourism and Thai food, Thai food, Thai food. Nobody will go to Thailand and have KFC if I'm if I'm not wrong. Right? So once I came back to Kerala, I saw that we also lost the charm of Kerlian food. I can make a steak, I can make a burger, I can make a pizza, but I love my mother's recipes. So I recreated all my mother's recipes and I started serving it through my restaurants. And I get travelers coming, you go through my Facebook page or any page, you can see foreigners, or your, your, any, any foreign uh, pages, you can see even in Russian language, they have commented about my food. I will not come to Sri Lanka to eat Indian food. If I'm a traveler, I should try the best Sri Lankan food. And with my few days of experience, I believe that your kids, especially the tourism, educational kids. I saw they are very handsome in their looks, very neat, very presentable and great personalities. I just did a session for them and I thought that they are all rushing to Australia or America or something. I spoke to the chairman, I, saw, I told him, let's create history. We will bring back the Asian culture together. I will also support what I can do and let the world travel to dine our food. Of course, definitely. Right? I think I Our mother, think. our grandmother, our great parents, we are a country, we belong to a country with tradition, with history. Am I right? True. We don't Very live true. in Marvel stories. We live in histories. Am I right, sir? And what you eat shall you become. That's true. So in our culture, in our Asian culture, name it Sri Lanka, name it India, I have seen it is genetic food that helps you to define your life, helps you to refine your thoughts because thoughts become words, words become action, action become character, character defines your destiny. So there and where food plays a brilliant role. So we together has to recreate what our grandparents has left behind so that no need to do diabetic awareness, breast cancer awareness because in my olden days my grandparents never ran for diabetic tablets or uh, correct me if I'm wrong huh? correct. but these days three in one is diabetic three in one is a patient so we will ensure that come to Sri Lanka come to my place and I'm going to dine you like a king <laughs> that's right Mr. Shirantha, I want to pose the next question to you now. As Chef uh, Nalan mentioned, like food plays an important role in tourism as well. What do you think about the quality of the knowledge we have here in Sri Lanka with our young chefs? Now, as I believe there are so many people out there that I know of, even young students, who want to follow their career to become a chef or in culinary school or any of that uh, in that line. But students are unaware of which step they need to take in order to become a chef. Would you be able to give a little advice on that? Yes. <clears throat> uh, it, when you say the students are unaware, it does not restrict to hospitality. Mm -hmm. I would put this across to all the industries. Why they are unaware is because most of the time they have opted to start the wrong thing, not what they can do. If you check this magazine, that's my... Uh, but I always tell people, I don't do what I like to do, I do what I can do. So when one opts to do what that person likes to do, the chances are greater that that person is going to fail. But when one opts to do what that person can do, that person is very aggressive in the approach. He or she will know where to go, where to secure a job. 
he or she will set plans uh, five year, 10 year, 15 year old. But when I do something for the sake of doing, or my parents may have pushed, or my friends may have said, let's join this university, how many of us take us decisions based on others? But you have to first understand, is this what I can do and then take? Otherwise, you get lost in the pathway, and that uh, is what exactly you asked. But having said that, we uh, have you know, our students, even before they complete the course, the leading hotels come and grab them. That's because of the skill they have and our lecturer, lecturer's ability. And uh, the hotels uh, across Sri Lanka, they need staff. So there is a pathway. So it's not to say that, like Chef Nalan mentioned, right? You do your uh, program, culinary program, and then you, is it a pathway or gateway to go to Australia or uh, US or UK? So that is, you're doing for the sake of doing it. There is no passion. So uh, there is, if you ask me about the local infrastructure, the ca career path, it is there very much in our hotels. And hotels will definitely grab uh, and uh, embrace um, uh, them and take them to the levels of a chef will be able to tell you more than me of the, the possibilities. The yes, of course. Now, uh, again, uh, posing the question to you, Mr. Shirantha, um, when considering the demand of uh, appointments that you have from student enrollments, I would say, because a lot of people, even though that they're interested in uh, joining the tourism industry, some people might say, oh, now it might not be a good time because, you know, the economy is going haywire and I don't see myself here. I don't think Sri Lanka will be able to provide for us per se and our services might not be appreciated in some sort. So what can you tell them? Do you think now even the people who have the passion to do so, they have second thoughts of joining the tourism industry. Is there anything that you can say for that? Well, they have to, uh, well, I can understand, because yes. everybody would like to see if I start something, am I going to reap the benefits? That, that is understood. But having, having said that, you need to start. You cannot wait. I, mean, I, 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 I say this, you can't go under a mango tree and wait for the mango to fall. You need to <laughs> climb the tree and go and pick the best mango. Very true. Right, so that is the start these kids have to give. You know, you, you have to start somewhere. You have to believe in yourself. You have to. Now, for example, people, uh, the, the students who started a couple of years ago, right, to work in Sri Lanka, probably uh, the environment was not created due to all these problems, right? As a result of their qualifications and perhaps the little experience they had, they were able to secure a job elsewhere. So they, they need to start. Do not wait for things to fall in place. You need to start uh, your journey uh, before it's too late. Even uh, the question was posed by the students who are already doing tourism itself, whether they should be continuing this at they this They should point. continue. They, because uh, next year, right, we will be starting a 10-year plan. And by the year 2027, right, we are planning tourism will be the biggest foreign exchange earner in the country, right? And uh, everybody needs to support this because there are 3 million people, Sri Lankans, out of the 22 who depend on tourism. Tourism is not only the hotels, the chauffeurs and the guides. What about the other stakeholders who support tourism in terms of, uh, it can be batik, it can be gems and jewelry, it can be somebody selling uh, a king coconut by the side of the road. Very so true. everybody supports tourism. What about the homestays? So this uh, is, I mean, Sri Lanka itself is uh, uh, a paradise and we need the uh, people to know this is a paradise. We need to educate people in uh, uh, respecting the tourists and also making this uh, the wonder of Asia. That's true. So I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Chef Nalan, I'm posing all the questions no, to no, Mr. No, Shiranta because I'm, I'm, uh, I believe he has to go uh, very soon as well. But uh, we will be meeting you again on the second and third because you will be cooking for us as well. I'm waiting for that. So before that, uh, before you leave, Mr. Shiranta, I want to know now, do you think now coming back to the culinary, culinary side, if a person wants to uh, pursue that career from that end, what uh, pathway is available? Right. The pathway... Because there I are, believe there are hospitality and tourism courses here in Sri Lanka and yes. there are schools for it. Yes. But specifically for culinary, what path the student should be taking? There are two point? parts, very simple two parts. Either you work for somebody or you become an entrepreneur. Right. So if you have that skill, 
the entrepreneurial skill to ha uh, have your own it can be a, yes, a, a very start. It can be a, a sandwich bar, and that's where you start. You can't go and uh, straight away start a, a five-star restaurant, right? So they say definitely you you join as a, a junior cook yeah. or commis, whatever you call, and then you go up uh, the ladder. And also, it's uh, it's good if people uh, get the because in our three-year program, we also uh, it's a management uh, program. We also teach uh, kids business yeah. management. Yeah. So not so, not only about culinary and cooking. So they can, if they identify the very true. Uh, to, to add value to that signature, yes, right, sir. Signature, signature matters uh, because as he is trying to explain, what I understand is, kids has to understand whether they got a signature or not. So coming back to what the chairman said, either you work for someone or you become an entrepreneur. Becoming an entrepreneur. Is not depending on someone, especially in the culinary art. It's depending on me, my signature, my name. So in my food, that has to reflect. So if kids get educated in that manner, in that manner, if they get educated, he is going to make this place paradise. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think we've come to the end of our first segment, Mr. Shiranta. Thank you very much for taking the time. I know that you have to take thank leave. You. Unfortunately, we will be back again with uh, Chef Nalan. Uh, you're watching Gen XYZ. Let's go into a break and we'll be back. It's cooking time. Huh? It's cooking time, time. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Gen XYZ and now I'm joined with Chef Nalan who is going to prepare a beautiful dish for me as well from Kerala. The ingredients also from Kerala. Now what is very intriguing to me is that all the ingredients that he has bought is like all handmade. Chef, would you like to tell me a little bit about this uh, coconut oil as well? See, because your restaurant yeah. has handmade coconut oil yeah, and that's very special. More than it is handmade, uh, the speciality of our coconut oil is normally Kerala is known as Keralam, Kera for coconut. So nowadays we bring coconut from other states but here I ensure that our coconut is from our state and we have our own mill which is connected with our friends and they make the best coconut oil. So I brought it from Kerala actually to cook for you. All so right, I'm also excited to try this food. Now, Chef, would you tell me what you're going to make for me today? Uh, actually, it's the first time here in Sri Lanka I'm going to cook. So with all your blessings, with all your blessings, I'll be starting up boiling the milk. Because we say that boiling the milk is how we start a new life, a new career, yes. a housewarming or something like that. So with all the blessings of the chefs here, with all due respect of uh, the chef Nishant here also, I'm just beginning his name and the chairman who gave me this opportunity, I'm going to begin an auspicious day here. And I'm going to cook for you fish biryani in banana blossom. Okay. It's Nalan's signature. Actually, this is hailing from Philippines, but I have fusionized in an Asian manner, bringing the herbs of Kerala and making it very special when it is presented. And all my dishes have a health value. Because I'm using bird eye chili, coconut oil, shallots, and all these things, and curry leaves. So I don't use, uh, mostly I don't use red chili powder. I don't use coriander powder. I don't, sometimes I use, uh, yeah, turmeric powder I use. Other than that, I don't use black pepper, I don't use garam masala, I, I personally, uh, not in fish, seafood area, but for, for sure for meat I use. Uh, this is my way because I belong to a 200 year of Ayurvedic family, which is called Nirurikil family, uh, from, I hail from Kollam Kundra. So always I see that my family is very much focused to uh, traditional cooking and all my uh, family members are well built, you know, so. So yeah. also connected to health yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, chef. Let's get going then. Yes. So once the milk is boiled, what are you going to do? You're uh, going to boil the rice in the milk itself? No, no, no. We are going mm -hmm. to boil the rice separately. Mm -hmm. So that's going to get ready. This is the bowl, all right? Just 
will you heat it up all right yes chef i want to ask you now these skills from where have you obtained them now even children like students who want to become chefs they are asking okay where do i learn these skills from where did you learn see the great indian kitchen the way the great sri lankan kitchen is the historical kitchen of the universe i'll make it very simple all other what i see day to day kids they want to study they want to go abroad they want to study they want to go abroad so last time i used to say you can live like a monkey all through your life you don't know why you are cutting your onions or you can live like a lion because you know why are you doing this so two ways either a lion or a monkey so for me i traveled i learned okay i was in china i know what is chinese food mexico i tried mexican food i tried uh, arabic food from arabic hands i tried italian food from italians and i understood that my food is the best for me because when i talk to you about sri lankan rice and that special curd and the special pickle mm -hmm. and you know your grandma is feeding you your mouth will start watering yes of course right <laughs> because your genetics is talking to me so genetic engineering matters a lot and for me i belong to a very traditional country like your country and we dine like a king right so many people ask me like why eat with hands why eat with hands i was in london even though europeans wants to eat with hands they cannot it's damn cold so they have to remove the gloves and uh, they have to eat with the hands and this is coming up yes good yes so let's begin a good day all, all right. right thank you thank you so i told my kids i told the my my fellow beings we are rich enough we are royal enough to eat with our hands our weather is so blessed so why should we mock others they are eating with spoon fork and other things because of their disaster because they are so unfortunate they even though they want to eat with hands they cannot yes uh, correct me if i'm yes, wrong yes yes true i was there you have to remove the gloves and it's minus 30 degree how can they eat so somebody's unfortunate life i cannot celebrate it as a royalness but he, of course you cannot eat steak with the hand because it's their food so you have to respect their etiquettes and manners but yes, learn yes. to be you learn the historical factors of being you and that's where i found that my mother's kitchen is the best all right and my mother's recipe is number 1 so here we go so i i always advise kids also that learn your mother's recipe learn your grandmother's recipe make your own signature stand in front of the crowd and say that i'm the best <laughs> that's right? so true we have to learn from our older generations as well because even i myself now when i consider my grandma i feel that my grandmother is the best cook in the world because i always look for her food even her rice to even the aurudu kavili that she makes even a little birthday cake that she makes that's the best for me the thing is like as you ask me do i know how to do that that's the problem with our generation i feel you know all the best skills are there from ages ago but are we learning it now very that's true. the case. very true you said it very true i need ghee can i get ghee So, chef, tell me, what do you have in your pan right now? That's cardamom. I'm going to prepare rice in banana blossom, right? I put two cardamom. You can see this is uh, cinnamon sticks. Yes. Okay. Done. Do you eat this flour? Yeah. Do you eat or you don't eat? I do. I do. We usually make the malum out of this. We chop it into little pieces. Okay. Let's chop it. See the flavor? You can get the flavor. Sorry? Flavoring, right? Oh yeah. Chef, what's the difference between using uh, ghee and oil? ghee is more healthy you know that actually people have a wrong concept that you eat ghee you put on weight mm -hmm. actually you burn fat all right yeah these are small small informations people has to get educated now the flour is ready right wow i can smell it already now we put some water i need salt okay 
Thank you. And this is something new. We put the banana flower into yeah. the water itself. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. All right. Let the water boil. So meanwhile, we'll prepare fish. This is fish. You saw that? It's already marinated. It's marinated it? with just with curry leaves. Mm -hmm. You saw that, right? Curry leaves, ginger, garlic, and uh, small onions. Okay. No any other masala. No salt, yeah, no yeah, pepper, no nothing. Salt. So this is the magic masala. You saw that? What is that? Yeah, that's what you're going to see. Okay. Take the fish. Wow, it's nice. Okay. Take the masala. Okay. It smells amazing. Okay. Have, which is a... Have you had fish biryani before? Actually, I am an Indian food lover and I've had biryani but not with fish. Not with fish. So today... Probably is... chicken or mutton oh, so or something like that. So this is the first time? Yes. It's very challenging for me. And I can't wait. <laughs> okay. We cook with herbs, alright? There's no mm -hmm. chilli powder. There's no coriander. There's no garam masala. Just chef's masala. Okay, marinated. Chef, you were talking about, you know, getting your own signature. Sorry? Right, you were talking about getting your own signature style. Yes. Is there a particular way that you can do that? Is it, does it come by research? Does it come by generation wise? See, why I'm planning to do is, now there are other brands who have established a chain of restaurants. And uh, I don't know about Sri Lanka. Do Sri Lanka has a chain of restaurants? Sri Lankan chain of restaurants? Well, With there Sri are Lankan fusions. Signatures. There are fusions. Okay. So I want every Asian country to have their own signatures. Mm -hmm. For example, if Kavi becomes a chef, she mm -hmm. should have the Sri Lankan signatures. She, no matter if I wear a suit, I'm a foreigner. I'm an Indian, so I have my own signatures. These signatures has to be carried around the globe. Mm -hmm. Now my question is how? If once I pass away, how it's going to happen? So I have made my recipe, including salt. This comes including salt. Even if I cook or any chef cook here, in this manner, only I'll teach you the pattern of cooking. It will taste the same. Right, it's open. So we will be pureeing this, blending this? Yeah. Right. Just open it for me, excuse me. Give me the grinder. This is something very unusual, using the banana leaf Not banana, to cook. mango leaf. Sorry, yes, yes. mango leaf. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what was boiling? Yeah, just give me a second. All right. There's a lot of work going in right now. Yes. So once the water was boiled, you put in the rice? Yes. Saw that? Time. Yes. Now you saw this, right? What are the ingredients added here? So there's coconut, ginger, chili, yeah. curry leaves, shallots, and a mango leaf. Yes. Let's try. Give me the jar. Excuse me, grind it for me. And that's going to be pureed. Yes. Let's see. That's going to be the chutney for the biryani. All right. What are we going to use the banana flour for? I cooked rice. Mm -hmm. This one? Yes. The cover. The yeah. cover. The biryani is going to be served in that one. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, 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 yes. The guy is suffering for a long time. What can be done? Chef, have you uh, collaborated with any of our Sri Lankan chefs here? Not yet. Not yet. I'm here You're to find to. that Sri Lankan chef. So, Chef, uh, you said that you have to find the chef in Sri Lanka. What do you think about our cuisine here in fabulous, Sri Lanka? Fabulous. We are all like, you are very close to Kerala. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even if I go to Chennai, it is one and a half hours. Here, I took one hour or like 55 minutes to come here. 
So it's a beautiful place with wonderful food actually. And uh, we have the same coconut oil, right? But people are very much uh, thinking wrong about coconut oil. Mm -hmm. They think that coconut oil is very unhealthy. You know that coconut oil is the only milk. Sorry, coconut oil is the only oil in this universe very close to your mother's milk. You can Google it. Mm -hmm. So that much of medicinal value. Coconut oil is a big medicine. For all kinds of skin diseases, you can use virgin coconut oil. I'm not building a brand, I'm building our brand, Asian mm -hmm. brand, Kerala of course. coconut. We specialize Very in that. Specializing. Bring the best out of it. So, Chef, uh, what do you find? Uh, do you think Kerala food and Sri Lankan food are quite similar to each other or is it different? Very much. We both love coconut. Mm -hmm. Right? And as I told you, Coconut oil is the only oil which is very close to mother's milk. Yes. And, we have, and it's a medicine for most of the health issues, skin, skin issues, use coconut oil for the hair, for the skin, for cooking. So somewhere, somewhere down the line, some mafia, I can say, have told or educated us that coconut oil is very unhealthy. Yeah. Anything for that matter, okay. all right, anything for that matter, is basically if you take beyond the limit anything even the freedom or even anything for that matter you take beyond the limit is unhealthy yeah am i right too much of anything too is not good. good so yeah it's the same way All right. yes that's good nice okay so let's try some fish of course you like fry fish yes i like fish. Well, i think in sri lanka you use uh, most of the um, what do you say? Red chili powder. Yes, we right? do. Right, chef? Use more salt. So today we'll fry it without chili powder. Come on, baby. Yeah. In banana leaf. You, there's a lot of bananas here in Sri Lanka? Yes, we do. Yeah. It's a very tropical fruit. Yes. And I love curry leaves. You love curry leaves? I do. Curry leaves. I love the, the aroma also curry it gives leaves. out. This brings the memories of my childhood. <laughs> right? Right? So fish biryani is getting ready. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a small dessert for you. Wow. Right? You know what is this? Have you tried this? Take one piece. Chew it. Chew. Keep chewing. Yeah. You love it, don't worry. I do not know what that is. Yeah. It's sesame. Black sesame. It's sweet. Yeah. Because I have Black added sesame. To it. Called jaggery. All right. So is this also made by you? Yeah. Now I'll make it a dessert for you, don't worry. I'm finishing this piece. It's ah. really nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's very healthy also. You can Google the benefits of black sesame. What did you use, Chef, to make this sweet? Jaggery. Jaggery. Our very own jaggery. You know the, what do you say, sugar cane? Mm. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Now I'm going to add some coconut again. A grind from the radio gave coconut again. Yeah. Wait. Can I? Excuse me? Yeah. Chef, real. Make silly and daddy. So we are going to blend that as well? Yes. Oh, okay. So it will become a dessert for you. That was so simple. Just uh, black sesame and coconut mm. with a little bit of jaggery. Mm. So, Chef, uh, is the fish almost done or do we need more time? We will open this sesame and the fish is going to be almost done. Okay. Wait for the final finale. All right. So until we wait, we should go into a short commercial break. We will be back soon. You're watching Gen XYZ. Gen XYZ and I'm with Chef Nalan, the professional Kerala food chef. 
and he is cooking for me today fish biryani and the fish is almost done and he's adding his secret ingredient to <laughs> the fish he did not reveal to us what that was so chef tell yeah. me the situation of the fish right now the fish is almost getting ready i'm just frying the onions you saw without tomato mm -hmm. without yes. green chili right is there green chili no no, no. How do you get the spice into it? Is this supposed to be a spicy dish? You want it spicy? We'll make it spicy. It all depends because I use bird eye chili as I told you, right? And uh, it's very easy to prepare my recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as I told you, my mothers, you know, have you seen? They will wait till 12 o'clock chit chatting with you and suddenly they'll vanish inside the kitchen and come back with a fabulous meal, right? Yes, of course. Yes. And I always Mother's say, magic. <laughs> and I always say that I'm born for a queen. So that's how it goes. You see, the masala is getting ready, all right? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I prepared a dessert for you. I'll prepare a drink for you now. Okay? Wow, there's so, so many dishes we'll today. We'll prepare a drink for her, right? With Meanwhile, you can drink and talk to me so mm -hmm. that the meal will also get ready. So, what's the drink going to be, Chef? It's a green mango juice. Green mango juice? Yeah, okay. with mango leaves. There's no mango. A juice made out of mango leaves. leaves. You ready? Okay, well, that's very, very new to me. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be bitter? You try. Okay, need, uh, okay. Chef Nalan's signature yes. dishes. I'm going to try today. Right? Your yeah, juice. All right. So, now the fish is done? It's done, it's done. Almost everything. Yes. And there Hold goes. It. We have banana, uh, oh. mango leaves again. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Ready? Oh, drop it. Thank you. Ice cubes. Yes. Sugar. One, two, three, four. Five, six, small spoon. Small spoon, yeah. yes, definitely. Definitely. So, and a little bit of water. Maru, strain it and bring it. You get a green mango. Right, so let's prepare the biryani now. Okay. It's biryani time. Okay. Chef, bring the rice. That's our pre-boiled rice. Yes. It's completely boiled, see? Nice? Yes, definitely. See the flavor? Yes, of course, you can smell it. Usually in biryani, you have it in a different color, right? White? Okay. We have it in white today. Okay. And there goes Chef Nalan with his ingredient again, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> He's using, right? She's eagerly waiting. Of course, I did mention to you that I was an Indian food lover earlier. So, and it smells nice. <laughs> fish biryani in banana blossom. Banana blossom. Nalan's signature with the desserts. All right. So this is the blossom. This one. You have something to tie, chef? Yeah, thank you. I need a banana leaf, new one. Chef, you're telling me so all of these techniques you learned from your mother? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I learned the cooking from my mother. This I learned from my travel. Ah, Food, travel, okay. music. So with your experience itself, you modify your cooking techniques? Very much. Everyone should do that. Yes, Chef, you were telling me about your restaurant? Yeah. I've got Chef Nalan restaurant, mm -hmm. CLR, Chef Nalan restaurant, only with traditional cooking, traditional serving, traditional taste. And I have fusionized it, same like mm -hmm. this. My presentation has changed. That's how it goes. Now your green mango juice is getting ready. So there's a second phase. There's a lemon here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a pinch of salt. And we are done with our green mango yeah. juice. Yes. To be honest with you, Chef, I'm a little bit nervous to try this one. Really? <laughs> Let's see. But I trust you. I trust you. Because honestly, this is the first time I'm trying this. Okay.
That's a beautiful color. Really? Wait. Aha. Yes. And okay. that's done. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Seriously? It's it's very similar to almost lime juice with mint. Yeah. It's just that there's no mint, it's a mango, mango leaf. I like it, I really like it. Thank you. Now I'll concentrate it more, because I want you to feel the mango. Now it's concentrating. Now wait a moment. It's not bitter at all. That sounds bitter at all. Now it will be green mango. I just want your confidence. People think, now you tell you. God bless you. It's green mango. Amazing, that is so refreshing. I'm going to ask my mom to make this at home. I'll probably make this at home. <laughs> magic. Magic, definitely magic. <laughs> so now what are we, we doing are, next, Chef? We are going to finalize our deep meal, all right? It's going to wrap it up again. What do we have here? Some plums? Yeah. That's for just garnishing. All right. We'll put some onions also. <laughs> Right, papad. You like burnt papad? Papad yeah. is papada. papada. I'm guessing, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> Chef, what do you think of fusionizing uh, Sri Lankan food with Kerala food? I believe Institute has 800 chefs, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to come here for a fiesta, and let's fusion. Sri Lanka. So you're planning to have a food fiesta here we in Sri must, Lanka? We must. You should ask the kids, man. They are the new generation, not me. <laughs> they have to take up our signature, our name to the world, not bringing others. Okay, cook, learn, drive. But don't forget, we have history. Right? Your biryani is getting ready. Chef, before becoming popular in this industry, yes. what steps did you take to come here? Was Home it work. difficult for you? Homework. Homework, definitely. I took six years. I six my, years? Yeah, I did my homework mm -hmm. very well. Because when I come to a country, people will laugh, people will cry, people will... But I should have an answer. Keep drinking your juice. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> So this was all self-learned? Yes, it can be. I, I, nothing is self-learned. There are people, of course, as I told you, like, supports come, we learn from people, we understand. So, but passion is very important. Passionate, you have to be passionate. As I told you, you can live like a monkey all through your life. <laughs> so the question is like, are you a monkey or a lion? You got my point. I did. So that's how it goes. Right? We'll put some more rice because there are a few people looking up. They're cooking for the whole group today. No, only a few. <laughs> yes. It's party time. Wow. So, just wrap it up. Hold it, bring it underneath. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. Chefs, I need a plate which can go in an oven. Because normally you can do it in, uh, what do you say? Yeah. Ooh, yes. So yes. tight and so neat. Bring it here. This can go in an oven. Oh, okay. 30 seconds, one minute max. Be and careful. the rice is also done. Yeah, all done. Almost. Okay. Chutney is done. Right? Now, papad. The papad arrived? Yes. Okay, let's burn the papad. We are going to burn, burn the papad up. Yes. How will I hold it if I burn? Yeah, thank you. We it. usually use coconut oil and fry it. Oh, and it just goes on the grill. Sometimes, you know, we need to be very traditional. Very old-fashioned. 
Yes, it's right. Huh? Does it become crispy when you do this? You are going to have the food. <laughs> Two things is very important in life. When it comes to patience. You know what? When your mother is talking to you and when your food is getting ready. <laughs> These two things are blessings. That's why in Kerala we say Annam para Brahma Surubam. Food is God. That yeah. comes with a lot of patience. Yes. <laughs> and your papa is ready. Your biryani is ready. Your drink is ready. Are you scared? No, no. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I was when I got this drink, but now no. Okay. I trust you. Now we're going to do the plating part. And this is the desserts for you. Okay. I'm going to blend the dessert. And I'm going to put some coconut. Yeah, beautiful. See? And just blend it. Take one small bowl. Yeah. Oh, so it's like similar to thalaguli. What is that? It is also, thala means like sesame seeds. Yeah. Here. Ah, okay. But instead, this is the black sesame. Okay, tell me last time, where did you try this kind of a... No, never, never. This is, all of this is new to me. <laughs> Very carefully. Hello, are you here too? Yeah. Dessert for everyone. Who doesn't love dessert? Especially when it's healthy. See, normally, everyone, every Asian people should learn that we have our recipes, mm -hmm. our ingredients. And when it comes to tourism, let the world come to dine. Because, okay, I saw a place. Sri Lanka is a very small country, right? What brings me back here? The same place? Something new, something new festival, something new fusion. A taste from the south, taste from the north, taste from upside down, taste from a fusion of Asian recipes. A brilliant chef is preparing something special in Sri Lanka. Let's visit. So these kind of things, and you can talk about health. Black sesame, black sesame is very healthy actually. It's very healthy for women, for their hair, for their uh, uh, gynec issues, uh, for the gems, for their prostate issues. So end of the day, this is how it goes. This is instant cooking, huh? from country to country, right? Easy dessert. Easy dessert, yeah. The beauty is I think we can even take this as a healthy snack also. Yeah, with, with some black tea or something. I love coconut. My grandfather, you know, used to be in the coconut business, so maybe <laughs> blood. We've with been this. using a yeah. lot of coconut in this because dish today. There's a saying that money makes you rich, blood makes you royal. Wow. Right? Okay. <laughs> so, the cooking time is over. Now, this is your dessert. Please. What's the name of this chef? We call Which? it Elunda. Elunda. I call it Kerlian Ferraro. Oh, that's, that's a good twist. Yeah. <laughs> and we are almost done with the dish. Yeah. This was done in the oven. Yeah. Chef you can also next. do it in the idli kutum. Mm -hmm. Idli, you know, you make idli. Ah, the steamer. The steamer, yes. Okay. And this is the tender mango pickle brought from Kerala. You yeah, can, you see, tender mangoes. Yeah. Those are baby mangoes. Baby mangoes, yeah. Tender mangoes, yeah. Made from, made by a mother. Actually, Nicole's mother was doing camera for me. Oh. Yeah. Now, let's begin? Yes, let's begin. All right. That's the... Unwrap it. You see? You can see Ooh. the color, right? The color yes. textures. Right? Take a banana blossom. Okay, I take the fish and the masala. The beautiful part is coming to your country. I'm going to so I, I'm going to give her something more. All right, just take it. I'll help you. All right, just wait. The fish. The masala, you saw that? Mm hmm. Okay. The fish, the masala, and this is the chutney. The chutney. 
So that, right? And this is the salad. Take it. This is how we can like to eat. So that. So now put the pickle here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's dip it on the pickle. I said I like a king. Yeah. Take it, take it, take it. No problem. Yeah. Enjoy. Keep chewing. Keep chewing. That's a big mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We eat big. Now you should try it by yourself. The same way. Wow. Seriously? It's heavenly. <laughs> it's amazing, chef. I'm still eating it. Yeah. The smell, the texture. Thank you. Like, there's not much oil in there, no. but still it's moist. Yeah. And there's curry in it, even though there was no curry. The fish is so tender. Tender. There's no Amazing. green chili. Well done. Thank well done, you. chef. Try it by yourself once again. Yep. You, you I'm go. just going to use the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> With the... Please, you have to join me as well. Well, I will be feeding my, my co-chefs also. So yeah. this is the chutney we uh, yeah. pureed green, earlier. Green mango, yeah. So till we... Enjoy this. Let's go into a short break. We will be right back. You're watching Gen XYZ. We'll be back soon. Welcome back to Gen XYZ and now we have just tasted Chef Nalan's biryani. Everyone here has and I'm loving it. And now it's time to try his dessert. And for that I want everyone here to join me as well because they helped Chef Nalan out with this. And it's dessert. Who doesn't love dessert, right? This is my small dessert from my Kerala own. It's made from sesame, black sesame. It's very traditional. Try. And this is Chef's special black sea. Put it in the mouth and keep chewing. Yeah, yeah. She likes a very small piece. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And this is for you. Keep chewing. It's heavenly. It's also healthy. Mm. See, food is medicine. If you seriously look up to good food, you can seriously leave the hospital aside. You Tell me. It's, it's just like our thalaguli here in Sri Lanka, no? Yeah. How but was the biryani? It's really good. Seriously? Yes, yeah. chef. Thank you. <laughs> was a good experience? Yeah. I want you kids to, chefs, I want you chefs to look up to your tradition. You go to any country, I don't mind. But be the king, not a monkey. That's what I have to tell my fellow chefs. Every, we are blessed. There should be a blessing in your hands. Then only we can serve. And like she's saying, wow, it's from the soul. And she has to be thankful because it's food, not doing something. The soul is thanking you. That's why I name it in my restaurant, Temple of Foodies, where great souls meet to dine. All right, thank you, chefs. Thank you so much. All right, chef, we have to come to, come to the end of the program as well. Again, I wish you all the very best and hope you open up a restaurant here in Sri Lanka as well. <laughs> is all mine. Is all Thank mine. you again for sharing this beautiful dish with us. I'm definitely going to make this at home. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so <laughs> again, much. Again, thank you. Right. And uh, that was our episode on Gen XYZ. I hope the children or the students out there who want to become culinary masters, it always needs to come from the root and their passion needs to be put into it and make their own signatures. Message from Chef Nalan. Dine like a king, huh? Dine like a king, king. of course. <laughs> All right, so just in case you couldn't watch us on air, you can always re-watch by catching us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash English. I'm Suzanne Shanali. Stay safe and have a good night.